Thought for the day, brothers and sisters. Today I was reading in the book of 2 Samuel chapter 22. This chapter is basically a song of praise of David to the Lord. It's a fairly long chapter, uh, 51 verses. And an overarching theme you read in this uh, chapter is that God is our shield or protector. You read that in verse 3, verse 31, and verse 36. And today I wanted to speak about God being our shield and protector. Book of Psalms has much to say about God being our shield. You can read that in Psalms chapter 3, verse 3. Psalm chap chapter 18, verse 2. And Psalm 28, verse 7. You could see God being our shield throughout the Psalms. People, great men of God and women of God in the past have realized that God was their shield, the protector. In Genesis chapter 15, Abram, before he was called Abraham, was called, told to leave his land that he knew and the people he knew to go to a foreign land. He was scared, he was afraid, like any of us would be. But we're told in Genesis chapter 15, verse one, God told Abram, I am your shield and great reward. Today, many people are looking for a shield, a protection, and they're looking to people. My friends, today I have to speak about something, and I do not like to get into politics, but I think it speaks about how we need to be trusting God and not looking at the media or people. Recently, a young man in Wisconsin um, shot three people. I believe two people he shot to death during some uh, rioting last year. The man who did the shooting, the young boy, was white, and the three people that he shot were also white. However, outside the courtroom, you had people chanting, Black Lives Matter. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 10 and 11 says that when you do not love the truth, God will give you over to a delusion and a lie. We are living in a delusional world today. People are following lies. Satan himself, we're told in John chapter 8, verse 44, is the father of all lies. My friends, we need to follow the opposite of a lie, which is the truth. And the only way you will follow truth is if you follow God and his word. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in John chapter 17, verse 17 said in his high priestly prayer for his followers when he was talking to his father, he said, sanctify them by thy word. Thy word is truth. The written word of God, the Bible, is so true. Proverbs chapter 30, verse 5 says that every word of God is pure and he is a shield to those who trust in him. When you follow the word of God and you let God direct you, you will be following truth, the written word of God, and also the living word of God, which is Jesus Christ. John chapter 14, verse 6, Christ himself said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. The reason why we are not to trust in people is because as Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 9 tells us, the heart of man is deceitful and desperately wicked. Yesterday at my job, I was talking to a lady about this case in Wisconsin. She came to the conclusion that the young man who did the shooting was guilty. And I asked her why. I said, did you see the video of the whole thing that happened? She said, no, I went on hearsay, what the news had to say. And you see, that is the problem, my brothers and sisters. People following other people, following the news, following what other people had to say. You have philosophers from the 20th century in the dawn of television when it was coming out, people like Saul Alinsky, who believed that if you said a lie long enough on TV, people will start to believe it. And it's still true today. People are following what other people have to say, but they're not thinking for themselves, following a lie. As I said, the heart of man is deceitful. We're not to trust in people. The middle verse in the whole Bible tells us in Psalm 118, verse 8, it is better to put your trust in God than your confidence in man. My friends today, I encourage you, read your Bibles. Get your news from the Bible. Get your good news from the Word of God by following Christ, being led by the Holy Spirit, not by your flesh. People will deceive you, and you will deceive others. Deceiving and being deceived, it's just the nature of man. 
We're living in a day where, as I said, just it's amazing the lies that people are following, the fake news that they follow on the news. We are not to get our news from people or news outlets. We are to get our news from the Word of God. I encourage you to start your day in the presence of the Lord, following the example of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. In Mark chapter 1, verse 35, we read, when he got up early in the morning, he was up in the morning before the sun came up in the mountains, he was praying to his father. He wasn't on his news feed. He wasn't checking out his Twitter account. He wasn't worried about how many likes and dislikes he had on a post. He wasn't looking on the news and Googling the news or what's going on. He got in the presence of his father. Start your day in the presence of God, reading the Bible, praying, meditating to the Lord. I hope today's devotional video, my friends, will encourage us all to look to God to be our strength and our shield and protection. Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 to 18 gives us a list of armor we have to wear to protect us, spiritually speaking. And in Ephesians 6, verse 16, we are told, above all, put on the shield of faith so, as, so that you can divert the thoughts of the enemy. You can protect yourself. Soldiers 2,000 years ago in ancient times, they wore a shield to protect themselves from enemy fire. You want to protect yourself from the lies of the enemy, put on the word of God, put on faith in Christ. Heavenly Father, Lord God, I thank you for all my brothers and sisters in Christ who will see this devotional video today on social media. Lord, including myself, may we come to you when we are weary and heavy laden and find true rest in your son, Jesus Christ, as we read in Matthew chapter 11, verses 28 to 30. Forgive us all. Forgive me too, Lord God, when I try to get my news from people and my information from this world. Forgive us all in Jesus' name. God bless you all today, my brothers and sisters. Be led by the Holy Spirit. Remain humble in the sight of the Lord.